Now what I've done here is draw a sketch for the problem that we're given. Now you don't have to draw a sketch for something like this, but I'm only doing it just so that I get a feel for the answer. So what I've done is I've set up i and j unit vectors here, i to the right and j upwards. And the sketch here illustrates what's going on, but it's not drawn to scale. We've got our particle, our tennis ball, mass 0.1 kilograms, and it's moving with a velocity of 30i meters per second. And it's given an impulse by a racket of minus 2i minus 4j newton seconds. And we've got to find out the final velocity of the ball immediately after being hit. So if our ball's moving to the right here and it gets hit in this direction, it's going to veer off course, maybe something like this in that direction, v. All right, and it's this final velocity vector that we've got to get. So how do we do this? Well, you should be familiar with the formula that impulse, which I've called I here, the impulse is equal to change in momentum. The final momentum, mv, minus the initial momentum, mu. And we're dealing with vector quantities, so I've just done squiggly lines under those vector quantities. So, we know what i is, and we can write this in either in this format, or we could write it as a column vector. It's totally up to you. If we write it as a column vector, we've got minus 2, minus 4, and we've got a mass equal to 0.1, and that's multiplied by the final velocity here, v. And then we've got minus mu, mass again, 0.1, times the initial velocity, which was 30i, or as a column vector, 30, 0. Now, what I'd want to do is add this vector to both sides. This vector, 0.1 of 30 and 0, is going to be 3, 0. So what we've got then is therefore 0.1v equals the vector minus 2, minus 4, plus the vector 3, 0. And if we work that out, we therefore have the vector 0.1v equals minus 2 plus 3, which is 1, and minus 4 plus 0, minus 4. Now divide both sides by 0.1, or times both sides by 10, and what you have is that that final velocity vector v is equal to 10 minus 40. And when I look across here, yes, it's not drawn to scale, but at least we've got 10 units in that direction, 40 units down. So there's our final velocity vector. If they'd asked us to work out the speed, which sometimes they do, then all you've got to do is work out the magnitude of that velocity vector, which would be the square root of 10 squared plus 40 squared. Okay, but uh, that's it for now. And by the way, you, don't, you could leave it like this, or you could return it back to 10i minus 40j, okay? and that would be in meters per second. Okay, so leave it up to you. But that's basically how we would do a problem like that.